Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sasa Sasa, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. It's a lovely day, so we gonna review a cigar called Ande Lovely. Yep, Ande Lovely. And this came from a pile of cigar that has a bunch of Opus X in there. So I'm gonna assume that this is provided to me by Smoke Wine if you have one, Eric, because um, I honestly don't remember anymore. I honestly don't remember. I just can't. No. But. Uh, let's take a good look at the cigar right here. So the cigar is called Ande Lovely Elegante X2. It's made in Nicaraguan. And then the wrapper uh, is Ecuadorian. The binder is Mexican. And the filler is Nicaraguan. Uh, the size is 6x52. And I'm trying to figure out what is the like actual maker for the cigar. I cannot tell. I cannot tell. Because obviously, Lovely Elegante X2 is just the name of the cigar. But like, who, who is the company? And in terms of the price, $8 to $9 each, I think. I, I don't have an actual price on this. So let's just assume it's $8 to $9. Nice, brown, smooth wrapper. A little bit sheen. It's like a matte metallic kind of feel, like sanded matte look. Not bad at all. So let's get started. <sighs> hmm. All right. So this is an Ecuadorian Habano, Mexican binder, Nicaraguan filler. It just have a sweet tobacco cedar smell. A little bit of, yeah. That's pretty much all I can get out of this. Again, ribbon. Finish the look, but I just don't like it. Cutter, cutter, cutter right here. My trusty cutter. There's a leak here. Oh, there is a crack here, huh? All right, all right. I shall release you. Ah, lovely day. I knew it. But there's a crack on top already, so when I cut it, the, the cap, uh, I just want to come off. But... Let me... A close observation here. Okay. I'm going to take this cap kind of off. I'm just gonna glue the end because I knew this was gonna fall. There's a crap crack there. No problem at all. My trusty cigar glue. This does what often happen when you have a bunch of cigars just sit on each other. But no problem at all. No, no, no problem. No, no, no problem. Just a lean, a little bit glue. Just a little bit. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Just that little bit. Push it in a little bit. Just get it all together. I'm gonna push that down a little bit. Get into the shape I want. Almost like, you know, nothing bothers me today. It's a lovely day. Now that it's not like any other day, but it's a lovely day, okay? It's like every other day, but it's a lovely day. Why that's drying up? 
Let's see if I can find. Who is the maker of this cigar? I mean, I when I go online, I can find a company called Lovely Cigar. Okay, and there's no secret. We all find information from the online. And, you know, I know this is main Esteli, but who is this company? Like, is Lovely Cigar really a brand? Excuse me while I try to get some electrolyte. Smoking cigars and doing everything. Really consume some electrolyte. So I guess the brand is called Lovely Cigar. And the cigar is called Ant On Date Lovely. And Date Lovely. And and like oh, blah blah blah. And date lovely. Okay. Alright, let's go. Alright. It's a funky. Fermenty, stinky, sweet tobacco taste. That's what I got. All right. Wow. Wow. That that this better be a lovely day. Pepper, cedar, Woodsiness, hay, a lot of hay, a little bit of sweetness in there, but it's not the whole time. I'm gonna say there's a little bit of coffee in there as well. Maybe just a little bit of saltiness. That's it. That's what we got. Okay. There's a little bit of dried dirt too. Dried dirt. Like those yellow dirt. Not like mud. Not like soil, soil, but like dirt. All right, let me smoke one third and I will be right back. Lovely day. Lovely day. All right, first third. It's a lovely day, but it's not really a lovely cigar. Mm. It's sweet, but not very sweet. It's hay, but it's not very hay. It's tobacco, but not very tobacco. It's cedar, but not very cedar. And it has a little bit of like that bitterness too. It does, like, the name makes you happy. The cigar makes you like, damn. Ah. I think you guys already kind of know what I'm going to rate this as. But we'll continue. Second, third. We'll see if that brighten up the sky, dog flying, birds going, rabbit jumping, eagle catch the rabbit and eat it, and all that shit. Lovely day. Be right back. Second, third. Which I'm gonna tell you, nothing changed. <laughs> no, <laughs> shit, nothing changed. Nothing changed. Tunnel, nothing changed. It tastes like a nothing Connecticut. So, I can't put too much. And this is gonna be a short review. This nothing. Like it just dies out. It, it, this. <sighs> There's nothing. You know what? To make the video longer, let's take a look at the band. I, I don't even know what to talk about this thing because it's... Even the beginner would say this cigar is boring. There you go. Lovely cigar. Let me see. Uh, yeah, handmade Nicaragua. But... 
I can't taste anything that is crazy about the cigar. So, so yeah, yeah, I can't. I don't know. The the bends okay. Bends okay. Comes up really easily. So, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. It's a lovely cigar. No, it's a cigar. It's a lovely day. Just a cigar. All right. So, let's um. Let's go to the last third. Be right back. Oh, I'm done. It tastes like a normal cigar. And when I say normal, I'm saying a $6 cigar. This cigar is $6 to me. Can't get any lower because you guys know the, the deal. $6 cigar. Um, it's a medium strength, but not medium body. It gets boring. It dies down luster. It's really nothing to it. It's just... I don't know. They put something in there that, that add the strength but didn't add flavor. And yeah, it is what it is. I mean, for a beginner, maybe to train your strength. But other than that, I don't, I don't see any reason to smoke this cigar. So anyway, thanks for <laughs> Eric for sending me this cigar that uh, to review. It is a lovely cigar. Lovely cigar, okay? And then... And, and, um, yeah, six dollars is where the price is at. So, and yeah, there's not much I can talk about this cigar because it gets boring because it dies down and this it just tastes like a, a, you know someone hand you a strong Connecticut and that's pretty much it. And it doesn't have the creaminess. It doesn't have the yeah. It doesn't have any of that. So that's too bad. Yeah, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, join our membership. Listen to a podcast and all that stuff. You know the whole deal. And I will see you guys next one. Bye, guys.